Gluttony. The insatiable desire to feed oneself to an inhuman capacity. A very specific form of greed, which shows the true decadence of the world. If this is the first of my Seven Sins builds you have come across, then I would suggest first watching Rage and Sloth, as all of the characters are heavily linked together. I will be making a playlist with them all, so if you're eager to learn more about the captains, then check out the playlist section of my channel. In addition, make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're new around here too. With Rage and Sloth, she had a powerful offensive front, but she also needed someone to defend them in case of attack. As the operation grew larger, there was a greater chance of them encountering a direct confrontation, and she couldn't allow this to happen too early on. Reading through the reports she had gathered on specific soldiers led to her learning of Gluttony, a soldier who was described as being an unthinking and unkillable individual. The report detailed an incident where his squad had been left out in the field for a week without supplies, before an evac team was able to pick them up. When the team arrived at the building in which the squad had holed up, they only found Gluttony, surrounded by skeletons and chewing on a bone. When asked what had happened to everyone else, he simply replied that he was hungry. The team originally assumed he was suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, but when they brought him back to base, it became apparent that it was something much worse. On his first night back, he was discovered in the mess hall, searching through supplies and gorging himself. This led to him being thrown into solitary for a day, and when the guard came to release him 24 hours later, the large man instead pulled him into the cell and sunk his teeth into the man's face, tearing through his flesh in a single bite and leaving muscle and bone exposed. When the man tried to flee, Gluttony smashed in his leg with a rock, splintering his bone and giving him the chance to start gnawing on the crippled soldier's legs too. Outside the cell, guards heard the commotion and went to investigate. The sight of a man feeding on the badly wounded soldier caused them to open fire, sending several bullets into the obese individual's chest and giving them enough time to pull the wounded guard from the cell. The bullets seemed to do little more than distract Gluttony though, and before the guards were able to fully shut the door, he managed to grab one of them by the arm and begin dragging them into the dark cell. The other guards helped pull the man away from the beast, dislocating his soldier in the process, but saving him from a much worse fate. Bolting shut the room, the group of guards informed command of the incident, and an execution order was given immediately. The next morning, a firing squad appeared outside of Gluttony's cell. The door was swung open, and a volley fired into the darkness. As with before though, bullets seemed to have little effect on the abomination residing there. Instead of falling down and dying, the man was able to dart forwards, and clasp his greasy hands around a member of the firing squad, pulling him back and sinking his teeth into the man's neck, causing blood to coat the stunned soldiers. The door to the cell was immediately rebolted, and the firing squad fled, leaving their remaining member to his fate. Apparently High Command was still trying to work out a safe way to eliminate the individual, but she had her own ideas for him. When she freed him from solitary, she made sure to bring plenty of unwanted soldiers with her, letting the beast tear them apart and feast on their flesh before even attempting to speak to him. With a full belly, the man was surprisingly pleasant, constantly giving her praise for bringing him food. Controlling him was not only easy, but even gave her an additional way to dispose of anyone who tried to stop her. The man's greed for feasting was beyond even her own expectations though, and when push came to shove, the other captains were able to convince him to betray her, simply for the promise of an even greater feast. Her attempt to kill him and intimidate the others was unsuccessful, leading to her just being perceived as even weaker by them. It also meant that Gluttony was able to escape, hiding away in Boston, and sneaking away during the night in search of anyone to satisfy his hunger. Gluttony has Strength 5, Perception 1, Endurance 10, Charisma 1, Intelligence 1, an Agility of 6, and a Luck of 5. His body may be covered in a thick layer of fat, but underneath is a muscular form, giving him the strength to tear apart his foes before devouring them. Perception is the first dump stat of the build. We focus primarily on melee based combat, so accuracy isn't of much concern to us. Endurance however is our primary stat, sitting at 10. Gluttony is near to a mortal, his thick layers of fat working similar to armour, shielding him from attacks and protecting anything vital. Charisma and Intelligence are both dump stats. Gluttony is more beast than man. He is driven purely by the desire to consume, 
and isn't interested in anything else. Agility is our second highest stat at 6. Despite his huge size, the man is surprisingly fast, able to dart forwards and capture his prey with lightning speed. Finally, we have Luck at 5. Gluttony may have been cursed with his desire for flesh, but Fortune seems to have smiled on him to some extent, making him near unkillable and letting him live for a nuclear Armageddon. The essential perks for this build are Big Leagues, Heavy Gunner, Cannibal, and Adamantium Skeleton. Big Leagues and Heavy Gunner are how we are going to deal damage to our enemies. Both these sets of weapons give us some really great options for how to kill our prey, and I will go into my choice of these further in the equipment section. The Cannibal perk is not necessarily the most practically useful, but it is essential for playing as the character in all its grim glory. The defining feature of Gluttony is the unrelenting need to eat whatever he finds, and this is by no means limited to conventional food. The perk does also have some mild gameplay use, as it reduces the number of healing items we need to use at the end of a fight, letting us instead just feast on the fallen to heal. Last and essential is Adamantium Skeleton. We can't afford to become crippled, as this can slow us down and let our enemies concentrate fire upon us. Instead, we need to ensure we can keep on moving at top speed in a fight, and strike with all of our strength. The recommended perks of the build are Blacksmith, Life Giver, Bloody Mess, Action Boy, and Moving Target. Blacksmith is a fairly simple one. We want to have a large variety of melee weapons available to us, and this perk helps ensure they will all deal plenty of damage. It also helps us to add modifications that give us a chance to cripple, something very fitting for this build. The Life Giver perk is a great one for an early boost in our defensive capabilities, and the constant regeneration also helps to represent Gluttony's unnatural metabolism, healing him beyond human means. Bloody Mess is mostly helpful for a flat damage boost, but the hideous effect fits in well here too. We want to be turning our enemies into bite-sized chunks if we have the chance to. Action Boy and Moving Target work well together to let us easily close distance between enemies. We want to sprint towards them, head on before laying into them with a flurry of attacks, and then repeating with the next. These perks help us to do that by giving us a much higher refresh rate of action points and bonuses to sprinting. Finally, the role-playing perks are Lead Belly, Ghoulish, Solar Powered, and Idiot Savant. Lead Belly is a perk that I've never found particularly helpful, but it does at least add to the nature of the character. Eating should be seen as purely positive when playing as Gluttony, and Lead Belly removes one of the biggest downsides to eating food in the game. Ghoulish works well to represent the inhuman nature of the build, signifying that the creature that is Gluttony is barely able to qualify as a human being. Solar Powered is actually a fairly powerful perk, but I've put it in the role-playing section as it really isn't needed that badly for the build. The first rank is certainly helpful, and I advise getting it early on, but the second two feel more limited when playing. Last of all is Idiot Savant. This is a one intelligence build, so don't expect to level up too quickly without this perk. Factions should be of a secondary concern when playing as Gluttony. If you're well fed, then feel free to be nice to anyone you meet, but otherwise focus purely on finding more to consume. I personally didn't use any companions when playing, as I feel that Gluttony works a little better on his own. Travelling with someone else would just tempt him to eat them while they weren't looking. If you do want a companion though, then go with Strong. Affinity will build with him at a staggering rate thanks to the Cannibal perk and he also sometimes gives you raw meat, something that would please Gluttony to a great extent. The main weapons of this build are the Admiral's Friend, Sergeant Ash, and any gruesome melee weapon that looks good for tearing the flesh off your foes. I personally quite enjoyed using the Fish Catcher for some really powerful strikes, but I would recommend keeping your eyes open for any legendary drops of melee weapons. Admiral's Friend will work as our long-range weapon, allowing us to skewer out enemies in a single shot, and Sergeant Ash is a closer range weapon for dealing with large groups of enemies, or particularly strong ones. This unique flamer will cripple our foes and cook them alive for us, giving us a nice warm meal every once in a while. 
The armour for Gluttony is a mismatched suit of metal armour, over the top of a harness. I wanted it to look like Gluttony wasn't focusing too much on keeping himself protected, while still giving the character some resistances and showing off his mass. This was the best mix I was able to come up with, but let me know in the comments if you have any other armour ideas you're planning on using with the character. Combat with Gluttony is fairly simple. Charge in and butcher your enemies before devouring them. Even on the higher difficulties, you can win most fights close up. If you do need to keep your distance, then skewer them with Admiral's Friend, or barbecue them with Sergeant Ash. Switch it up as you see fit, but it's unlikely you'll have to thoroughly think out most engagements unless you're playing on the highest difficulties. That being said, keep an eye out for Suiciders, as they were the only thing that successfully killed me when I was playtesting, and they can be a real pain for this build if you're caught unaware. You'll want to regularly be using cooking stations with this build, crafting any powerful food you can. The Far Harbor DLC in particular adds a ton of great recipes for helping out the character, so make sure to take a look at them once you head over there. Thank you all for watching my latest Fallout 4 build. Make sure to give it a like and a share if you enjoyed it, and let me know what you think of the whole Seven Sins thing overall. If you're new around here then don't forget to subscribe, and maybe take a look at some of the other great content I've been making.